Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're doing aesthetics and we're gonna keep doing some 3D problems, okay? We're gonna do problem 278. It says the two forces F of one and F of two acting on, at A have a resultant force of negative 100 in the Z direction. Determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of F of two. So if we look at the picture they're giving us, F of two, they haven't given anything to us but we know that the addition of f of 2 and f of 1 will give us negative 100 in the z direction. Now, if we look at f of 1, it's 60 pounds in its magnitude, and they're also giving us the angle between the force and the plane y and x, xy plane, and they're also giving us that from this magnitude in the xy plane, there is 30 degrees angle from this to the x plane, to the x axis, I'm sorry, not plane. So, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna decompose f of one, and when we find its x, y, and z values, we need, we need to add them all, all the way until we get only negative 100 in the z, so we can, so that way we solve for f of two components. So let's start by decomposing f of one. So what we can do, f, that uh, we're going to do the magnitude of the x and y plane. So if we draw this triangle over here with the 50 degrees, it will look something like this. So we get the 50 degrees, we get the y, this, and the y and x value, the plane. So we get f of one in the x and y plane we get our hypotenuse, which is equal to 60 pounds. And also, if we check over here, the opposite of these 50 degrees is actually F of one, the value of F of one in the Z direction because it's going totally down. So this is going to be F of one in the Z direction. With this, we can find that the magnitude of F of one in the X and Y plane is going to be equal to the hypotenuse multiplied by the cosine of the angle and also f of 1 in the z direction is the hypotenuse multiplied by the sine of the angle if we do this with our calculator we get that sixty cosine of fifty is equal to 38.6 and 60 sine of 50 is equal to 46 pounds and it's also pounds now why do I need the magnitude of the f1 in the x and y plane well if we now instead of drawing this triangle, we draw this one over here, over here, we draw it over here. We know that this magnitude, our new hypotenuse, which is f of 1 in the xy plane, which has an opposite that is equal to f of y, so f of y, because it's everything that's going in the y direction, and it's adjacent, which is the x value, so f of x. <clears throat> now, if we want to find f of x, we get that it's going to be f of 1 xy, which is equal to 38.6, multiplied by the cosine of, this is a 30 degree angle, so cosine of 30 degrees. And if we want to know f of y instead of a cosine, we use a sine. So 38.6 multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees. So we go and do 38.6 multiplied by the cosine of 30. And we get that this is equal to 33.4. And if we do 38.6 multiplied by the sine of 30, we get that this is 19. 0.3 both of them are pounds and pounds now f of x is going in the negative direction so f of x is negative 
I'm gonna write elbow one here in a little corner so we can keep our values. So we get negative 33.4 in the x direction plus 19.3 in the y direction plus 46 in our z direction. All these guys are pumps. Okay? Now, how are we going to find f of 2? So with f of 2, we know that the, uh, the sum of f of 2 and f of 1 will give me the resultant. So we know that the resultant in the x direction will be the addition of the x direction in, of, for the forces f of 1 and the forces f of 2. So f of 1 in the x direction, f of 2 in the x direction. Now, the resultant has zero value in the x direction. So zero will be equal to f of 1 in the x direction, which is negative 33.4. plus f of 2 in the x direction, which we don't know, we actually want to find. So if we want to find f of 2 in the x direction, we solve for it, and we get that it's equal to 33.4 positive pounds. Okay, now let's do the same, but for the y and z direction. So we know that the result in the y direction is going to be f of 1 in the y, plus f of 2 in the y, and if we look back, it's zero again for our y direction. Now, if a one in the y direction is positive 19.3, and we need to add f of 2 in the y direction. If we solve for f of 2 in the y direction, we get that it's actually equal to negative 19.3 pounds. And last, we are going to do the result in the z direction, which is equal to f of 1 in the z direction plus f of 2 in the z direction. So we, in this case, the resultant is negative 100, which will be equal to uh, the z direction. Wait a second, I wrote that this was positive 46, which is actually negative 46 because it's going down. So it's negative 46 plus f of 2 in the z direction. If we solve for f of 2 in the z direction, this is going to be equal to negative 54. Because we put this negative 46 to the other side, so we get negative 100 plus 46, which will give us negative 54 pounds. Now, let's write f of 2 in this little corner, and f of 2 is going to be positive 33.4 in the i direction minus 19.3 in the j direction minus 54 in the k direction all these guys are pumped okay so now in this we can find the magnitude so let's do the magnitude the magnitude of f of 2 is applying Pythagorean theorem it's going to be the square root of 33.4 squared plus negative 19.3 squared plus negative 54 squared. Let's use our calculator and let's see what we get. We get the square root of 33.4 squared plus negative 19.3 squared plus negative 54 squared and this is equal to 66.36 we can approximately leave it at 6.4 pounds and this will be the answer for our magnitude Okay, now they want to coordinate direction angles. So, from the last video, we learned that the angles are basically the inverse cosine of its component. So, for alpha, which is the x direction, we do our x value, in this case 33.4, 
divided by its magnitude, which is 66.4, the one that we just calculated. So we do the inverse cosine of 33.4 divided by 66.4, and we get that this is equal to 59.8 degrees. Beta, which is the y, we get that this inverse cosine of the y value, which is negative, you cannot forget about that negative 19.3 divided by 66.4. Now, if we do inverse cosine of negative 19.3 divided by 66.4, this will give us 107 degrees. Okay, and last, gamma, which is going to be for the z direction, is going to be cosine, inverse cosine of the z which is negative 54 don't forget about that divided by 66.4 so let's use our calculator we got negative 54 divided by 66.4 and that's equal to 144 degrees so we find our we found our direction angles coordinate direction angles okay that was it for this problem. Thank you guys for watching. If you got, guys have any question, any suggestion, please let me know down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video.